Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Matt Kappa. This is another video on Raid Shadow Legends. Today, oh today. Today I want to talk to you about Champion AI. Look, before we get started in all of that, I do perfectly understand that with the addition of the ability to tune how your champions react in certain situations, basic turn order, what they're going to prioritize, what they're going to use on first turn, it has gotten better, but it doesn't make it perfect. For one thing, you can't choose who to target. For another, you shouldn't have to. I need 3,000 slots to be able to program every champion's default AI. And what I'm wondering is why didn't they just offer a champion level default AI tweak rather than having to build teams? I do, do not get me wrong. I absolutely appreciate the fact that they've added this. It has alleviated some of the otherwise annoying issues that happen within this game. But I still would love to see them tune some of these AIs so that you don't have to, or more importantly, so that even when you tune your team in an appropriate way, they're not making stupid, stupid choices. And the two that drive me the most bonkers, and they're the most inane, I will say. They're the most inane. They aren't necessarily, you know, game breaking. But they're Rodos and Madam Saras. Actually three, my apologies, and Prince Kaimar. The three of them are absolutely broken in their logic. And I'll talk about each one of them individually. The first one I want to talk about, it's the easiest one we all know about her, and it's Madame Saris. If you do not program her or put her under conditions where she has immunity, she will try to steal buffs in order to obtain immunity. But everybody knows 99% of the time you need Midnight Ritual as the default, and yet Trick and, trick or tre trick and Treats is the uh, default for her. Hey, you can program that out. This is a, this one's not a game stopper, especially seeing they've added the ability to tune champions because you can change it just by putting the tune together. Yet, I believe you shouldn't have to, right? Especially now that you've got the set teams. If I want trick and treats, I can tune for that. Why is it doing it by default when she has no buffs? Uh, what what is it? What is it in the programming that they can't change that they can't make her? Uh, act appropriately. So that's my number one. And the second one is, uh, and unfortunately I can't show you this one, but it, it, it's it's <laughs> Rodos's uh, choice in, in attack. Actually, you know what? We'll come back to Rodos because his is a little more complicated. Prince Karmar, we all know, hey, if your team's not on cooldown, why are you using Seal of Magic? Why? Unless... There's more than four enemies, I believe. I believe it's four, maybe it's more, because on Spider, you never had to tune it. He recognized, going first, that he doesn't use Seal of Magic. He uses Abyssal Gaze. But if it's just a normal team, an arena team, uh, any of your, your, oh sorry, more than five enemies, not more than four, which is basically just Spider, uh, he'll, use, he'll use Seal of Magic first. It's a waste, he uses it in arena, 3v3 everywhere. And, you know, unless there's, Hey, I get it if, you know, where I'd want to be able to tune this in a team is if he was going second. So someone else used their ability. He thinks, oh, somebody's ability is on cooldown. I'm going to use Seal of Magic. And then what you can do is you can program out of that using the set teams. But just if you have him as your fastest and no one's on cooldown, why would I want that to be used? It's the fool most foolish thing I've seen ever. It's just a, it's just a lazy default it's a lazy default that they could easily fix and then it would free up so many of my because a lot of my preset teams in dungeons have to do with kaimar specifically single kaimar double kaimar kaimar with renegade uh kaimar is my lead i have two different kaimars so depending on what team i'm using it would free it up so well so it's, it's kind of frustrating that that one goes on here's I, there's another one i want to bring up we'll talk about the third one the third one rodos and there's more by the way there's plenty more I'm sure you can come up with a hundred of them, but these are situations that sometimes even putting them in a team doesn't fix. And Rodos is one of those. <sighs> Why will he target in the first wave Faction Wars 21 in Arena Mountain King? My thought is it has to do with how much HP Mountain Kings usually have. 
but I don't care. He's weak affinity. No other champion in the game makes the choice to go. Oh, I think I'll hit the. I think the, I'll hit the one I'm weak affinity against. I mean, there's martyrs in that same level. There's champions that he should be hitting. I think it actually, it might be Black Knight as well. Sorry, it's a but it's a force affinity. He attacks a force affinity, weak hits, when he could easily kill a martyr. He could easily kill, I think there's a couple neutral ones in there, but no, no, let's let's take the one that we're gonna weak hit. And why, <laughs> why? In the arena, it's, Mount, it's always Mountain King. I always see it, you attack the Mountain King, even though there's other champions available. Even though there's a, a duchess sitting there just saying, hit me, oh, I'm, oh no, I am available to be hit, please hit me. Nana goes after the Mountain King. Absolutely ridiculous uh, and annoying. But there's more. But wait, there's more. How about the fact that uh, our good boy Candorfon, even when he's under Veil, will often want to use on the hunt on his second hit. Now again, this is situational, so it's... It depends, but it seems to me that if you hit Butcher's Glee after putting under veil, say you've got a Duchess on your team, he's or or he or the turn someone else got the turn meter, so he's his passive goes on. He hits his Butcher's Glee. Three of them are dead. Fourth of them's near near death, and he puts on the hunt rather than punish Hubris. You, I don't. I can't tell you how many times I've seen a champion who could just kill a champion, and we'll get into that in a second. And instead, they decide to use a passive event, like on the hunt, which just, it, it's not an attack, it's just putting him, now under normal conditions, that's probably the right call, but in a condition where he could just go walk across the screen, tap kill the other one, and every, almost every champion does that. Why is it that my Madame Ceres, when the other team, Madame Ceres, Madame Ceres, when the other team has an unkillable up or something with no health, they'll all attack A1, but when I'm in the, in the, Faction Wars and my debuffer, right? Like Lydia is putting her A3 out there on someone who already has a decreased defense and weaken and has no health left, but instead is throwing up a debuff and just cycling all these abilities when there's, she just had, just hit her. Just lock out skill, do something else. Do not use your A3 when it's not needed. Uh, your Royal Guard loves bringing down the, the A2 when there's uh, barely any health left on a single champion. And yet in Dragon, sometimes he'll use his A3 or A1 to just kill the single champion. It's it, it's a weird, inconsistent thing. And, and there's more. I'm sure there's more. But those are the ones that not all of them, especially those key ones, not all of them can, be, can simply be uh, fixed by putting up team sets. Now I get putting team sets with specific order turn around that's great. And I also know that they're gonna be bringing in the new year, the ability to do it per wave, which will be really good, especially niche things like the Fire Knight where waves you want one behavior, the boss you want a different behavior, and that's great. But I still have to wonder how it is you cannot lock out champions stupidity. Uh, you know, you still can't tell them who to attack. You still can't tell them uh, you know, those certain AI things. Another one that just comes to mind is our good old Arbiter, who, because this has a turn meter boost, will use this even if there's no champs uh, that are dead, and you don't want to lock this out, so you're stuck. She'll use her A3, then she'll use her A4, and you need that A4 a lot of the times to bring people back to life when you're on, say, team defenses for arena, or you're trying to run on auto on 3v3, stuff like that, or in the arena. I mean, these things seem simple enough and yet, um, there seems to be this overriding cruelty, for lack of a better term, this overriding cruelty that 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 searches and causes their behaviors that we don't necessarily want. And all I'm asking is, can we fix some of these blatant AI blunders that cause us issue when obviously we don't want that behavior, behavior to happen? Number two, uh, and that's even with ones, like I said, even ones that can be programmed out. If they're simple, like Madam Saris, I still don't understand why you don't just fix Madam Saris to the way that 99.999% of the community wants it. And then if we want to do it the other way, then we can create the team. Because there's more instances, I promise you, where you want Madam Saris to use her A3 than A2. And so why isn't that the default? And if we need her A2 over her A3 for whatever reason there might be, then we can make the choice to do the other way. Then I don't have to have 12 teams that are pre-programmed just with Madam Saris 
instead I get to have one team in case of that that niche case, right? Like I think that makes sense to me. And, and all these champions that have these strange behaviors that you cannot auto out, like Arbiter, like Rotos attacking Mountain Kings, uh, these things, I, in my opinion, they just really need to be fixed. It doesn't make much sense whatsoever. Um, default abilities are, should be there to be used in the case that they are needed. Arbiter Revive needs to happen when there's a champion that needs to be revived. Um, and, and it would be really nice if we had some... And this is a third. This is more of an ask. I don't know if this is possible. But it would be really cool if the next level of programming teams together would have something where you can do conditional. Uh, for example, Arbiter, you know, on that A4, if someone's dead, use the A3. Otherwise, use the A2 or, you know, or sorry, A4 or A2 or something like that. Something where you can where you can create a condition uh, if if uh, you know, hey, if, if Rodos's A2 is 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 up. Or his A3 is up against an unkillable, use it. Otherwise, just use the A1, even if this is off cooldown. Something like that would be really cool because a lot of the times I find that the time it takes to clear a dungeon wave in, especially Faction Wars, where it seems to happen all the time, is because he loves using his A1 when I don't need him to, you know, when I need him to use his A3. It seems to love his A3 when he simply could have... Uh, uses a one to kill a, the rain, remaining champion those sort of things so that's kind of where i'm at today it's i'm not it's not a huge deal but it would be kind of cool if they could fix up some of this ai stuff which could free up some of those slots i know they're adding more but nonetheless i think it it seems to make sense to me it would be a much easier process so let me know what you think uh, is, are there any ai things leave in the comments down below what champion does something so screwy that even the team built, the pre-built teams, you cannot stop it from happening? Let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, thank you very much. We'll hopefully see you tomorrow for Friday Night Lights. Uh, I'm on Twitch enjoying some bevies and having a good time. Other than that, I want to thank you. Please be safe, be kind, and we'll see you in the next video.